This is G Mode Archive 16, Beach Volley Girl Shizuku 2. Uh, so there's a story, uh, it's a two on two beach volleyball game. There's a story mode where there's, you know, cutscenes and stuff, uh, and you go from one match to another. Uh, versus mode is just you pick the team you want to play against and do it. Uh, collection shows you can see what things you've unlocked uh, in system uh, settings. Uh, so I'll just do one of the uh, versus mode. Matches. So there's uh, my team on the top. I don't think you can change them uh, unless that's something you unlock later. Uh, the teams you can play against are the uh, teams you've unlocked in story mode that you've beaten in story mode. So we've got the uh, other uh, Japan team or from the same uh, high school, I guess. Uh, Australia, India, China, uh, Brazil. Italy, France, uh, England. Uh, that's all. That's all I've gotten so far. I've only beaten a couple of story missions. Uh, so, yeah, so I'll just uh, pick a team, I guess. Uh, uh, India. Uh, so he next, you can pick your uh, bathing suit. Uh, when you beat a team. Uh, you get an A rank or higher, you unlock their uh, swimsuit, and uh, also you get their uh, special attack. Uh, so these are just the swimsuits of the various teams. Uh, uh, you can also, if you hit R, you can go to the, uh, sun, uh, the sunburn, or the tan line uh, selection. Uh, as you beat matches with uh, different swimsuits you kind of gain like experience towards uh different uh, towards that suit's tan line uh so here's like the normal bikini tan line uh there's like none basically uh yeah none a little bit and then a bit more and i don't know i'm assuming it might go farther i've only gotten the two levels so far on any of them uh so yeah, the, swims the swimsuit pattern I'm using there, as I play matches with it, I'll unlock more of its tan line, and then so you can mix and, mix and match uh, you know, the uh, different tan lines and the different uh, swimsuits. Uh, then there's the different special attacks. Uh, each team has their own special attack. Uh, once you beat them with a rank, you get it. Uh, we pick the court. Uh, again, as you beat the teams, you unlock their courts. Uh, you can choose the number of sets. Uh, one is quicker to do than three. Uh, and the number of points to win the set. Uh, so this was originally a phone game. Uh, not a like smartphone game, but like a flip phone game. So it's got pretty simple controls. Uh, it's only basically up, down, left, right, and uh, the uh, I think it's the A key. Uh, you know, the right key uh, for uh, the action. Uh, so it's a pretty simple game. Uh, we start off. You hit it. To hit the button to serve. You can press up to jump, and then A is. Uh, shoot uh, your character automatically tracks to where they need to go to hit the ball so uh, yeah like it is there's not I don't think there's a whole bunch of uh, strategy to it uh, jumping up to spike it down when they're about to shoot is a good idea uh, it makes it harder for them to react to it uh, they still sometimes can, but, uh, and, you know, if, like what happened there, if your timing or position's a bit off, it'll end up going past you. Uh, you can press A here to, you know, make them serve once you're ready. 
So that was the special attack I chose. Uh, the, the bar below the name on the left there, above the portrait, uh, once it becomes... Uh, once the increasing orange bar becomes red at about, I think, halfway, that's when you can do your special. Uh, to do the special, you just press down while you're in midair. Uh, and then they'll do it. Uh, the specials, some of them, uh, again, because the game's not, like, particularly deep or anything, some of the specials are just better. Like, you don't you don't really have a lot of choice of like where to shoot the ball, so it's mostly just kind of waiting for the AI to screw up. up yourself like that uh, so yeah you've got to hit the a button to uh, hit the ball once it gets to you but you can just keep tapping it repeatedly there's not really any harm in doing that uh, if you hit the ball when you're too low while jumping you'll spike it into the net And I don't know if you can even, as far as I can tell, you can't even really choose uh, whether you're going to pass or uh, shoot. The uh, special attack is usually how you're going to get most of your points. Basically you just volley it back and forth until you get your special attack. Uh, you've got to wait for your partner to actually spike the ball up, uh, or shoot the ball up really high, so that you can do your special attack. Uh, you can't do the special attack while you're serving. Uh, and that's the danger of do trying to jump up and spike. Uh, if they do their uh, kind of special attack, and they hit you, it'll knock you down, but then because it hit you, you you were the one who, uh, or no, it'll hit you and knock you down, then your partner will uh, volley it to you, and then they can't hit it again themselves. Uh, meanwhile, you're still incapacitated from being hit by it, so uh, then, you know, there's nothing to do but... Uh, have them score a point. So I'm probably gonna get like a C rank or so here. Uh, the uh, I think you get an S rank if they only score one point. Uh, an A rank I think is uh, three or yeah if they score two or three points uh, I think you get an A rank. So I probably won't be unlocking their uh, swimsuit or anything, I'd have to replay them and do better. But uh, it will get uh, suntan experience anyways. Yeah, so this game is uh, on the Japanese eShop. Uh, the story mode is, you know, there's a lot, it's all Japanese of course, but uh, you can pretty much just if you're just interested in the gameplay part, you can just skip through the story. There's not really uh, anything that you need to know for the game uh, gameplay purpose. Uh, so when the bar is orange there, you can hit the down button in midair to do like a more powerful spike uh, instead of your special. It's not as good as the special, but it's still uh, better than the normal spike. 
Alright, so we won. I got a C rank. Yeah, so there was no bonus for that, uh, but I will have gotten Suntan experience anyways. Uh, you can go to the profile, different characters. Uh, yeah, so the game is, it's on the Japanese eShop. Uh, you can get, uh, they don't typically, it doesn't typically accept uh, North American or other foreign credit cards. Uh, but uh, you can buy point cards from like PlayAsia or uh, probably other stores. Uh, and then use them, uh, and you'll just have to make a separate uh, eShop account. But there's no uh, there's no other weird region locking or anything uh, aside from the credit card thing. You don't have to use like a VPN or anything. Uh, and there's plenty of guides out there on how to do it. Uh, in this game, it's uh, it's typically 500 yen, uh, so like five bucks. Uh, I was on sale for like 300 yen though. Uh, and the company G Mode has. Well, this is 16, uh, they, so they've got, uh, I think they've got all those on the shop, plus more, so uh, they're all kind of cheap uh, little phone games. Uh, I haven't tried any other ones yet. Uh, so this is the story kind of uh, mode uh, as you go through the different areas. Uh, but yeah, they've got all sorts of different games. Uh, I think other kind of sports games, uh, puzzle games, uh, quite a few RPGs it seems. Uh, so just here's the story, start from the beginning and uh, continue. So you go through and then there's uh, talking and stuff. But there's different questions they ask that determines the branching that you saw in the uh, scenario menu. Which one you choose picks the next story mission, uh, and you can press R to fast forward through all the text to the next uh, choice or match. So here you pick your uh, swimsuit and tan line, and then your special attack, and then you go into the match. Uh, usually there's a bit more talking before the match. Oh, this is Team America. Alright, I guess that's it for this. Uh, it's you know, not particularly deep, uh, it's a bit repetitive, but uh, it's kind of fun for a bit anyways, and it's cheap and it's got a nice art style.